Hi, it's Kentex here with a video about preparing Pop OS for building and installing Linux from scratch. So this is specifically um, to do with chapter 2.2 .2 in the Linux from scratch book, which states um, some information about which pack packages must be installed on the host system and the minimum version they must be at to allow a successful um, installation of Linux from scratch. Um, if I just log into the desktop here of Pop OS, um, what I should do is I'll get a browser up with the page in question that I'm talking about in the manual just so you can see, make a bit more sense. Right, while that's loading, I'll get a prompt up as well. Right, so if I go to the Linux from scratch website and Read on nine, current stable. Okay, second time this has happened to me today. Right, uh, so this is the part of the book in particular, host system requirements, chapter 2.2. Uh, as I say, these are all the packages you must have installed on the host and the minimum um, software version level that's required. And there's a script here to run to uh, produce a report on what's installed. So if I um, just make this a little bit bigger, this window, and become the root. Um, I've got this script already mounted on a partition, so I'll just mount that partition and then I'll run the script. So this is um, exactly the same version of the script that's in the book. I've just um, already got it on, on the disk, but um, all you need to do is just copy and paste this, and then if you need to rerun it like I am, just run this last command here, which is what I've just done. So you can see uh, straight away, I've run it. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And the first thing we've got is an error. It says bin sh does not point to bash. So there's several ways of doing this, but found the most reliable way to do this for Linux from scratch is to just directly replace the link, the sim link. So I use option minus S for a, a sim link or soft link, V for verbose, and F to force the overwrite. And we want to create a link to the binary, which is in user bin bash. And the link name we need is bin sh. So you can see that's done that. So if I rerun the script, you can see that the error's gone and you can see that bin sh points to bin bash, which is exactly what we want. So um, we'll just go down looking for more errors. You can see bison command not found, so we need to install that. So if we just run apt install bison, and you could do this from a graphical front end, but if you're building Linux from scratch, you probably want to do everything or as much as possible on the command line, especially if it's something you, you are learning about. Um, sometimes it is easier to do things on the command line uh, than in a graphical environment. So that's Bison install. Let's rerun the script. And you can see it's installed it, and it's also created this sim link to Yak as well for us. So that's good. So the next one we've got is Gork, so we just do the same thing, apt install Gork, wait for it to install, and when it's done that, just rerun the script, make sure it's detectable by the script, and there it is there, and it's created um, or redirected the sim link that was there to, to the new Gork we've got installed as well. So I'll just look down, and the next thing we've got is make info. Now make info is the program name so if we try to uh, do apt install make info it will actually fail because apt is all about packages not programs so make info is part of the 
text info package. So if we install text info, you'll find that the make info package is pulled in and that will resolve that, that error. Okay, we run the script and you can see it's now gone that error. So all that needs to be done is just go down this list, double check the versions are greater than or equal to what's in the book. Um, if you use the latest version of Pop OS, Pop OS um, and it's up to date then I'm sure you won't find any problems at all. It should be fine and just carry on with the Linux from scratch book from there. So if you found this video useful um, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel as well to hear about more videos that I'll be doing similar to this. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.